What's going on YouTubers? Uh, this is Mopar Man 1978. I'm over here at my buddy's house, Nathan, here in Branson, where I live in the area of Branson. I come over here to work on his General Lees and his uh, squad car there in the garage. But anyway, uh, he got this General Lee and then he's got that one in the better one in the uh, garage. But he came over here today because he was needing the, uh, started having trouble with his brakes. It's almost seemed like only half of it or part, less than half was working properly. Um, I went and got him a new master cylinder, got it installed. I went ahead and bench bled it, bled the brakes, rear brakes today. It's, all, it's got all drum brakes all around. Um, but, uh, did that. Um, he was also having some issues with, uh, I think he burned out a headlight or two, and he uh, didn't have any headlights or anything at night. He had taillights and whatnot. Um, replaced uh, the high beams and the uh, low beams today, and then uh, came in here and... Uh, Replaced the uh, dimmer switch. Looked like the dimmer switch got a little hot. The plastic uh, fitting that goes around the three prongs is a little melted. Um, I think what it is is he's got an issue right here with going down the side of the around the windshield. It's starting to leak. Uh, we're going to get some clear silica, high temp silicone seal for that. But uh, I went ahead and made sure all the uh, points of entry on the bottom of the uh, dimmer switch where water could possibly get in. I uh, Grease it all up with uh, dielectric grease so nothing get in there, especially around the electrical prongs and stuff like that. And, and I also grease the uh, factory connections inside there so the, the prongs won't get uh, corroded or rusty. Uh, did and uh, let's see what else. Besides so working on the brakes and the headlights, I noticed I still had, didn't have headlights, and then we didn't have. Uh, um, parking lights up front so I got the look in I uh, this little uh, ground connection was filthy I cleaned that up and it was still wasn't working so I went ahead and uh, traced the wires from here and over there back over through here and then this little wire right here went back underneath the battery tray so did this one come to find out don't know if it happened on its own through the car shaking whatnot or whatever or somebody worked on this vehicle last which when I worked on it I didn't mess with the wires so it could have been somebody at one of the shops um, anyway I uh, found uh, these two sets of wires disconnected and so I went ahead and put dielectric grease all through both of the fittings on each side and wrapped this up electrical tape and check recheck the headlights and well, here. The next thing on the list is to uh, take the door panel off and figure out why the uh, door handle won't open the door because you got to reach in through here and whatnot. And we got to lock this up at night because make sure people don't come on his property and mess with the car. So he's got somebody staying here anyway at the house, but uh, just to be on the safe side. But uh, anyway, we got to. This door pin keeps popping out. It's not long enough. We got to get that fixed. Uh, I got to come. I got to come in here at another time and look back underneath the dash and get the uh, some of the uh, instrument lights fixed. I got bulbs for those, but uh, let's fire this up. Okay, flip the switch. We got, uh, I think that's just the low beams on right now. Uh, they all work. Turn signals all work. I'll have to check these uh, side marker lights at another time. It's uh, getting late in the day, but. It's got an exhaust leak back here, like right where the 
underneath the muffler meets the back side of the muffler where the piece of pipe comes out of it. It's got a, uh, it's just rotted out, so it's got a leak. But, uh, not bad for a somewhat wore out 383 big block. But, uh, let's, uh, I know everybody's dying to hear it. So am I. But uh, this one here, it's got the crash bar and everything, correct rims, the whole nine yards. But it's got the big bed, souped up 440 in it. The only problem is it's developed either a head gasket leak or it's got a cracked head. Water, uh, antifreeze keeps getting mixed in with the uh, oil. And last time I had it running,